rabbit pot pie. It's a little twist on uh, traditional chicken pot pie. I've got a hot pan and I do a little bit of olive oil. We'll start out with some diced fennel. Uh, this is the, the bulb of the fennel and I'll put a little salt in and the salt is gonna help um, remove some of the moisture from the fennel. And then I'm gonna add some mushrooms. And here I've got, um, these are uh, oyster mushrooms from a, a local mushroom forager and cultivator. And that's what I like about it. You're sourcing uh, a lot of your ingredients from the college right next that's door right. to your, uh, your favorite farmers that you guys exactly. know and have a relationship with. Uh, I've got um, some parsnips, carrots, a little bit of uh, button mushroom, onion, and celery that I've just sweated down in some butter. And I like to have those a little bit more soft than the fennel, uh, just for a uh, textural contrast. And next we're gonna add in the actual rabbit. And I cook these low and slow, and I pull all the meat off the bones. That's great, and I'll tell you, rabbit is one of those traditional dishes, especially around Appalachia in this area. You know, a traditional game dish, and uh, we like to you know honor the past and respect the future. This is just a little chicken stock. I'm gonna actually add a little spoonful of grain mustard. And this just adds a, a depth of flavor to it that I really enjoy. And I'm gonna add a couple of ladles of uh, rabbit velouté. This is the stock from braising the rabbit that we thickened up with flour, a little fresh cracked pepper, a little extra salt. Grab you a little taste of that. Get in there. Oh yeah. Last thing I do before we get it in the oven is uh, a good pinch of fresh herbs. This is a little parsley, chives, and dill together. To finish the dish, we put it into our, uh, our baking dish here. We need to put the uh, crust on it. This is a uh, just basic puff pastry. Put that right over the top. And I like to leave some space on the edges for steam to escape. And so, you know, when it starts to bubble up, it'll have uh, a place to go and it won't pop the crust. Nice and this, little secret revealed on that. And this is just a little bit of egg wash, just a one egg beaten with a little bit of water. And that's gonna give it a nice golden brown crust. And then we'll throw this right down here in the oven. So 12 to 15 minutes, it looks like 400 degrees? That's correct. I can't wait, Chef. It's gonna be great. All right. All right, Chef, it's been about 15 minutes, so this is where the magic happens. You're gonna pull the rabbit out? Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. I'll tell you what, all the bubbly goodness and that pastry is golden brown. This looks awesome. All we do is uh, to plate it up. We put a little spinach or whatever down on the plate, and that really is just to stabilize the dish so it doesn't slide around. And um, and that's it. We're gonna go in for the taste. This looks great. Oh, look at the crunch of that. Talk about comfort. This is a downtown triple crown. <laughs> this is awesome. This is nothing like that aluminum foil thing, you oh, know, yeah. where you have those uh, <laughs> <laughs> aluminum uh, little uh, round dishes, you know, yeah. and you put them in the oven, you take it out. Nothing like that at all. This is incredible. Man, this is worth the trip to the Boone Tavern right here. That's it. Awesome, Chuck. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs>